What's up everyone, this is Cybernat8610, and today we're going to be opening up six packs of Yukio Labyrinth of Nightmares. So yeah, this is one of the older packs, we've opened up six of these pretty recently, but yeah, I thought I would go on ahead and get another six packs and uh, see how we do. I mean, we had some pretty good luck last time, so let's see what we can do with these older packs as well. So, I, I just like seeing, you know, just the older packs in general. It's been s such a long time since I've done some of these openings, and this is another set, like I said before, I need to get a box of, and do a box opening at some point. One of these days, we're just going to go through all the sets and do box openings. Spirit of Flames, that's pretty awesome. And uh, Garuda. And, <laughs> again, we got Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. It seems like I always get this card with the uh, with this set. So that is really awesome. <laughs> Man, I'm not complaining on it either. This card is still an amazing card to get, too. So, there you go. That is just really awesome. Every time, I think we did an opening even before the last one, where I got like two of these. So, <laughs> we have more than a play set now for actual pack openings. Worm Drake, that's awesome. There we go. <laughs> that's really cool. And of course, these are older packs, in case people don't know. Older packs, uh, you know, you aren't guaranteed holographics, just in case people are wondering. I know now the uh, newer sets that have come out this year have it where you're guaranteed hollows. So, just so people know. I feel like in case someone's getting new to Yu-Gi-Oh, it's kind of confusing when you look back. And we have uh, one of the uh, spirit messages, spirit message in. There we go, another one of those is pretty cool. Fairy Box, now that was an annoying card back then. And Rock Spirit. Fairy Box, I forget who used it, it was one of the video games, it might have been Nightmare Troubadour. Where it was just the most annoying thing to deal with. I think, was it Bakura? I think Bakura might have used it, which was... Really annoying. I don't know if he actually used it in the anime or not. I need to double check. I think Bannock Keith actually used it, if I remember right. But it was not fun to go against in the games. We have uh, Jalgen the Spiritualist. Remember one of my friends using this card? It's a pretty good rare card to get. Remember it gained a little bit of hype uh, pretty recently. I guess it's been a few years now. Earl of Demise. Soul Purity and Light. Three packs left, so let's get another Kaiku. <laughs> I wouldn't mind that. Like I said, that is probably one of the best hollows to get from this set. Still very playable today. And we have a rare, which is uh, Nuva the Wicked. I think that's one of uh, the rare hunters, like some in this, in the in one of the openings, right? Like the Japanese opening. I don't know if they ever did an English one. I feel like it might have been. Supply. I've been rewatching a lot of the original series, even in Japanese lately. So I'm kind of getting confused on some of the openings. I'm going to rewatch in English and in Japanese. Just because. We have a humanoid uh, Worm Drake. It's a cool fusion. Uh, the Dark Door. That's a good common to get. Still an annoying card to deal with. And Spirit Message A. Gives us another Spirit Message Headless Knight. Remember that for Nightmare Tribador. That's probably the Yu-Gi-Oh game I played the most. So yeah, here we go. Last pack. What can we end with? Can we end with a hollow? Let's see. Can we end with a Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer? I should be saying. Lightning Blade. Remember using that a lot back then. Gadget Soldier. And we have another Jalgen. Jalgen the Spiritualist for our rare. So unfortunately, no hollow to end with. Earl of Demise. Well, that's kind of neat. But uh, yeah, we're able to at least get a holographic and again, Kaiku. So I guess it's kind of my spirit card <laughs> for this. I don't know. Even though he is a ghost destroyer. So maybe it's not right to call him really a spirit card on that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed this opening. I'm glad to get another good uh, holographic from this set. And uh, yeah, I'm just enjoying doing some of these uh, older random openings. You know, just getting like, you know, five or six packs of older cards. And like I said, I do plan to get a box of this set at some point. It's pretty expensive, but if I can ever find one that's reasonable, you know, that doesn't cost a kidney, I would definitely uh, love to do a box opening over it, too. And, of course, you know, all the older packs. That includes Legend of Blue Eyes, Metal Raiders. We've done a few of those, but, you know, I wouldn't mind doing another one. Uh, Magic Ruler or Spell Ruler, even both. And, you know, so on and so forth. Like, I want to eventually be able to have every opening, you know, at least one box of all the sets, especially the older sets on my channels. So, I'm working towards it. Again, it's just, uh, I don't want to have to sell a kidney to buy a box of cards. <laughs> so, hopefully, if I can ever find a good deal, I will definitely uh, do those openings. So, don't worry on that. But, yeah, as always, uh, thank you guys for watching. Be sure to, of course, uh, leave a comment. Tell me what other openings you guys want to see in the future, as well as like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Of course, anything new that comes out for Yu-Gi-Oh! I do openings on, whether it's English or Japanese, so be sure to subscribe to stay updated on that. We also have news videos, day profiles, all kinds of just random stuff. 
stuff, and to always go back to and open up some older packs like we did today. So be sure to subscribe to see those as well. Again, thank you guys for watching. You guys are awesome, and of course I will. Catch you guys later. See ya. Hope you guys have enjoyed my latest video. Be sure to subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, as well as check out my other two channels, Cyber Night Games for Let's Plays, and also a Cyber Night CCG for Card Fight Vanguard openings. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys later. See ya.